Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Mandalorian Credit Collection Wave 3, The Mandalorian, as seen on Tatooine. Um, I know that a lot of people are not crazy on this credit collection line. Personally, I love it. I love this credit collection line. Um, I won't say there hasn't been the occasional one. That was a bit of a flop. Can't sit here and pretend that uh, Bo-Katan is, you know, a hit or anything. But... Mando is my one of my favorite Disney Plus shows. I love the end credit concept art. And honestly, these uniquely painted figures just kind of do something for me. I don't know. I'm very happy whenever a new wave gets announced. And I hope that wave three is not the end. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Take a look at what you're getting here. As always, we start by taking a look at the packaging. You get your standard credit collection style, which is a vintage-inspired package, except it's very weathered. So you have your kind of speckled black backdrop, and your silver border's got rust marks and stuff. Star Wars The Mandalorian, his name, The Mandalorian, and then quotes Tatooine. Get a zoomed-in picture of the artwork of Mando launching, you know, out of the Crate Dragon's Maw. You got your Kenner logo. Now, warning down there, and then your big bubble showing Mando, his blasters, and the credit off nicely. Spinning it around, you get a larger picture of the end credit concept art as you would see it on a widescreen TV watching the episode. Get your Star Wars logo, your Black Series logo. Got a bio, not about the figure, but about the line, just saying that, you know, these have, you know, unique credits and unique decos. You got a bunch of legalese down under that, a barcode, a bunch of Disney, Hasbro, and varying other logos. Underneath, you have a little piece of paper that they have to stick in every action figure. I've never actually read it. Have you guys ever read the piece of paper that every Black Series has? Might be a video we do some today. So, anyway, let's go ahead, take a look at him out of the box, and see what we get here. So, here we have Mando opened up, looking super cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the accessories, as we typically do. Before looking at the figures accessories in particular, let's look at one of my favorite parts of these credit collection figures. They come with replica credits. So this go around, we get a gold round coin with a Republic logo surrounded by stars. Is that just a straight up new Republic logo? I'm not familiar with what they changed to the Rebel Alliance logo there. But uh, yeah, I would guess New Republic since they say it comes with a New Republic credit. Flipping that over, you get some Star Wars money symbol there. Surrounded in some sort of arabesh -like writing, which I don't offhandedly know how to translate. I know you can just hop online and, you know, do it. But I'm guessing it says something along the lines of In God We Trust or something like that. Uh, God Bless the Queen. So, uh, yeah, it uh, it's a cool-looking little credit token. I do love these. I have the credit... I have every credit collection figure in the prior waves because they would do varying colors and varying numbers on the different credit tokens. So I'm, you know, I'm very happy with these. I want to have a bag full of, like, plastic Star Wars credits that makes a jingling noises when I open it to take them out, like a cosplay kind of thing. So I don't know. I, I just, I like Star Wars money. So I have money, guys. Setting that aside, our accessories are very, very standard and as to be expected. You get... Mando's jetpack in a nice kind of light gray, this go around. We've had this a few times now, the three peg system in the back. Uh, there's no paint to be spoken of. It has ports on the bottom for blast effects that no Mando's ever come with. Um, it is the same as all the other Beskar Mandos where he has this heavy rubber cloak cape thing. Um, you can work it over his head really easily and peg the jetpack in if you so wish. And it looks okay. Um, it's a different silver than the helmet, which kind of stands out. But you also have to kind of just accept that with these credit collection figures that you're going to have some variation of colors. That is the gimmick. Um, alternatively, you have his pistol, which we've seen a bunch of times before. However, this time it's in dark, 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 dark gunmetal gray. Like, almost black. And then he has a slightly even darker brown paint for the handle. Looks very good, and as always, he has the working hip holster for it. He then comes with his disintegration rifle, which is in that same dark, 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 dark gray, sorry, with the same dark brown uh, paint on the stock. A accessory that we've had many times before. Um, as always, it has that 
deep peg in the back of the shoulder there that you can peg the rifle into. However, if you wanted to truly pose them up true to the concept art, um, bring my uh, on card one back. You just kind of have him holding it while blasting off in the jetpack, and I don't see the cloak in that art. So I guess maybe the if you wanted to display him accurate to the art, you would want a flight stand, take the cloak off, put the jetpack on, and have him holding the blaster. And to be fair, I think that's how I am going to end up displaying these is accurate to their concept art. But anyway, comes with the standard rifle that we all know and love. So, looking at Mando, you know, another thing I really love about these figures is wave after wave, the one that we always get is Mando. Because there are so many different concept arts of him, you know, just with different lighting, different scenes. The show's about him, so, you know, every episode has a different piece of concept art for him. So, you know, you uh, look at some of the other characters, and, you know, I mean, Queel, we're probably not going to get a double hit on Queel or Grief Karga. Um, or even in the same wave, we're probably not getting another hit of, uh, of you know, Bo-Katan or Ahsoka. Um, but Mando, you know, I like that we are consistently getting one Mando per wave. Um, and this one, I really like. I'm really kind of digging the orange. Um, I guess just to kind of bring in some of the others, because why not? This one's a little bit different, but this is our season one, basically just episode one Mando. wasn't... This is what he looked like in the uh, concept art for, like, the first episode. Looking rather cool. And then here is... This is from Wave 2. I guess it was also a Season 2 Mando. Um, or maybe it could have been End of Season 1. But it was our first attempt with a Beskar Mando. So really, these two are the same, and that's different. But, I don't know, I just... I like the coloring. You know, that first one, that Wave 1 Mando, has been, like, a favorite of mine for a long time just because the colors are very unique although I do like the blues and purples going on here this new wave one I'm thinking rather highly of it and don't get me wrong I love all three of these but uh it always makes me think what would it look like if Mando just ditched the whole I don't paint my armor shtick which he's never said but like come on every every other Mando paints their silver armor to something else and he just rocks the silver and I guess it's basic and therefore meta or whatever but I've always just kind of thought like why doesn't he so you know this is, I guess this scratches that brain itch for me but he looks super cool I love the kind of splattering effect he's got going on otherwise this is very much that very same uh, season 2 Mando, except, except, I am noticing a difference. He has the different right thigh armor that technically has only come in the Amazon 3-pack Mando with Ahsoka, or, as I reach behind me to pick it up, the, uh, I'm blanking on the planet name, but the Ice Planet Mando Target Exclusive. So, yeah, this one is technically a, a new figure. So, yeah, he's looking really cool. I love that orange. That blue on the pauldron is just spectacular. Um, again, bringing in my copy. Just looking at the art, you know, that shoulder is very much in shadow, so they kind of do it as blue instead of just dark, and so they capture that well. Everything else is in varying orange, except this panel's looking directly in the sun with his raised leg, so that gets, you know, to be a little bit more of a yellow than an orange. Um, it just really captures the... You know, likeness, well, I, I'm happy with it. To run through our articulation, which you should know if you have Beskar Mando, I've only reviewed this, you know, mold a dozen times. Uh, double barbell neck allows him to look that high up, um, which isn't great, but it is what it is. He can bury his chin, rotate the head, pivot. Arms can come up to a T-pose. You have to work the shoulder. Not quite a true T-pose, but it's pretty high. Get the shoulder pads up over the shoulders. He features 360 at the shoulder. A little bit of a butterfly joint in there. Is this one? It's just stuck. It actually is a pretty decent butterfly. Single jointed elbows can go to 90 and rotate. No rotation at the gauntlets. 360 at the wrists, however, with a lefty hinging in and out and righty hinging up and down. Mid torso ball joint allowing him to crunch that far forward. Pretty far back. There's some rotation and, of course, pivot. You can kick his legs that far apart. Pretty far forward. Tiny bit back. Upper thigh rotation. Double jointed knees can go pretty far up. His feet can point straight down. Pretty far forward. And there's a forward facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some pretty decent stances with both feet flat on the ground. Standing Mando up there. Let's do some size comparisons. So, I have a few others from this wave I haven't reviewed yet, so I'll include them. But I have reviewed Bo-Katan, 
And obviously Mando is taller than her. Um, and then how about the Tuscan from this wave? Very much a similar height. And from the same wave, Ahsoka looking really cool. So yeah, all in all, I think they scale rather nicely together. So, end of the day, what do I think of the credit collection Mando? Well, as I just spent the last roughly 10 minutes talking about how much I love it, one can deduce that I potentially love it. Uh, yeah, um, I'm really happy with this one. I like the uh, paint deco on it. The orange is just really standout-ish. Um, that blue shoulder pad, I don't know. I mean, it draws my eye to it, but not in a negative way. Like, I, I do really like that shoulder pad. Um, I also tried to do a different pose. I seem to always just point him with the blasters. Like, he has whistling birds. Let's try those for once. But um, I will say the only bland part is the, the tan cape. And, like, just take it off and stick the jetpack on him, right? But yeah, I mean, like, end of the day, I I love this Mando. I'm, you know, I'm excited. I, I'm i very happy with it. It's weird. I mean, we've had so many figures lately that have been new, you know, or at least repaints, you know, but new characters, you know. Uh, One Jack and Purge Troopers and stuff. And like, yeah, they're cool. But like, this this is really doing it for me. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. So um, do I recommend it? Absolutely. If credit collection isn't your thing, I totally understand. Um, but if this is in any way catching your eye, I think you would be happy to have it. Um, I know I'm happy to have it. And yeah, uh, try not to do that thing in the comments where you're like, garbage repaint line, you know, like every other one of you does. But, uh, yeah, I get it. It's not for everyone. But I don't know. I, I like it. I have a setup, and I'll show it whenever I get around to doing another collection tour. It might have been actually set up this last year. If not, I think I have a picture on my Instagram. But I actually have a setup with, like, all of the credit collections on card on my wall. And I absolutely love the setup. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hooked on this line. This line is for me. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. It means a lot you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. And I will hopefully catch you next time. Until then, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.